Okay, next up, the three mile fixed brush handicap hurdle. It's a grade three. As you can see, we've got 18 runners in this event. So out of the gloom for John Morgan, Hemsworth for Hems, Redwood Edition for Davy Ladd, The White Witch for Joshua Sutherland, Beachdale Lola for James Shea, Viva La Rock for Kevin Meanhan, Flaky Dovecoat for Pontypool Racing, Park Roller for Alex Cherry, Misaro Tears for Hems, Pink Champagne for Derek Hinton, Mr. Frosty for Darren Thompson, Crusader King for Paul O'Neill, Not Twice and Goodbye Millie for Vinnie Gerard, Inspector Bergerac for Paul Rhodes, Arabian Spirit for Darren Thompson, Jaffa Nyan for Ryan Costello, and Oriental Investment for Thomas Rogers. Big pack field here. And three miles. Handicap event. Over weight. Starting on the bend here. And a couple that have uh, taken uh, a long, long way around this poor old Crusader King. And Hemsworth. They've uh, given themselves a, a 5 6 probably length addition to their race. As they finally get to the first, it's Jaffa Nyan that leads us over it. Jaffa Nyan leading from Beachdale. I think that's Beachdale. Lola. In second, out wide is Pink Raider. Pink Roller, should I say. Probably not with my binoculars today. It's Jaffa Nyan that's going to lead them to the second of the ten flights. Skips over it. Still at the rear is Crusader King. I went over that one particularly slow. And they're pretty wide across the course here. The park loader in the centre of the course. So when we get to swim left handed, he won't want to be there. It'll be 10 12 horses wide. And it's Jeff and I am. Have to bowl along in the front. From that. In the centre of the course, park roller. It's the third. Left-handed now, as you can see, and we're getting over towards the fence. The one that's got caught really wide is the white silks, the red silk, sorry, the blue cap. I think that's Arabian Spirit. And then widest of all, probably seven or eight wide. It's Jeff and I, he's got himself facilitate to the route. Now with the storm, the white witch, park roller, Spectre Bergerac. of all of those is Mr. Frosty. Still Lola's in that pack as well. They're about a length away from the rest. Just being led by Viva La Rock on the inside. They're only grey in the race. One of those two greys. Second grey. First grey is the White Witch. But it's still Jeff and I and he's got a four length advantage here. Trying to get to the fifth of the ten hurdles. So it's Jeff and I am from the White Witcher Zone now, but Inspector Bergerac a little bit wider. Against the fences out of the gloom, like blue silks, yellow cap. And we've got Mr. Frosty, followed through by Beachdale, Lola, Viva La Rock, moved up a little bit now. Park Roller's there. I'm bouncing around here on the outside is Redwood Edition. Dave Robertson Silks. Not sure where to go. We'll go past the finishing post. A circuit to go, a further five flights to take, a mile and a half to travel, and we're still being led by Jaff and I am. Edition going really wide here. And the Arabian Spirit. Jaff and I am, had a pretty good run so far. Ryan Foster must be pleased here. And Paul's leading a fairly good field. Close to bottom weight, may well help. A mile and a quarter to go. We go over the six. And four to take. It's Jeff and I. The lead's being cut into a little bit now by Mr. Frosty and the White Witch. They've got Inspector Bergerac alongside, out of the gloom. First mention for him. Parkwell was still there. Against the fences, not twice. Crusader Kings move well up into the middle of the pack now. We go over the seventh. It's still Jeff and Iron that leads us, but this leads down to a couple now from Mr. Frost and the White Witch on the inside. Move down a little bit wider now. It's out of the gloom. Pushing through his knock twice. Misaro Tears is wide here with a red cap alongside Park Roller. But it's still Jeff and Iron. Still another seven furlongs to run. A 
absolutely great pace here either. Nine leads him over the eighth. Well, I'll just add that to take now. About the six furlongs to travel as Mr. Frosty pulls alongside Jaffa Nine. They're going to swing left handed again. One's going wide or uh, lose a length or two. And it's still Jaffa Nine heads for home first. He's off the bridle inside the five now. So it's Jaffa Nine leads by a couple from Mr. Frosty moving up against the fence now. And off the bridle was the white witch to try and close the gap, but it's still Jaffa Nine moving out now, it's beached down, or Lake and knocked twice, but Jaffa Nine's still got the lead here Jaffa Nine from knocked twice, who's running him down, really out of the gloom, he's running on as well, but it's Jaffa Nine being put under a challenge now, with just three and a half furlongs to go, and he's taken over by knocked twice, knocked twice of Finney Gerard takes it up, leads by a length and a half from Jaffa Nine, running out wide is goodbye Millie, out of the gloom, has got a lot to do from there, but it's knocked twice, got a couple of lengths advantage, as they come down to the last, it's knocked twice Goodbye, Millie, out of the gloom. Misaro tears. One to jump. He's over it. Jumps well. Gets away from it fast. Inside the two. So it's not twice from Goodbye, Millie, on the wide outside. Out of the gloom through the pack. Here comes Misaro tears. So not twice from Goodbye, Millie. Out of the gloom. Out of the gloom. Misaro twice, not twice. Misaro tears out of the gloom. Misaro tears. Or is it goodbye, Millie? No, it's goodbye, Millie, and out of the gloom. Out of the gloom, goodbye, Millie. Going to go over the line, neck and neck here inside the half. It's goodbye, Millie. Out of the gloom. Misaro tears trying to do something. Misaro, goodbye, Millie. Whoa. Goodbye, Millie. Out of the gloom. Went across together. I wouldn't like to split them. We'll have a look at the replay. It shows it a little bit better. Cross together, they saying out of the gloom's taken it from goodbye, Millie. And sorry, tears with Sir Flaky Dovecock could well have been fourth, but you know, and it is just a length, a length out of the gloom from John. I'm not sure where they got the length from, but top weight carrying 12 stone wins it by. I think that should have been a nostril from Goodbye Millie, Vinnie Gerard, Misaro Tears for Hems was third, Flaky Dovecock, Pontyroll Racing was fourth, and Not Twice for Vinnie Gerard was fifth.